History of Photosynthesis Almost every high school student knows the definition of photosynthesis and few even understands the process in detail. But how do we know what we know? What is the history behind our current knowledge? Not many bother to dig into history to know how our understanding of the process came to be. To know about the history of our understanding of photosynthesis, we need to go back into 1600s when there was a person called Jan von Halmond. No, he was not a dinosaur. He was a Belgian chemist. He did an interesting experiment to prove his hypothesis that when a plant grows, it gathers mass from its surroundings. He thought it must be soil from which the plant draws its mass. So he designed his experiment in which he carefully weighed the soil and the tree before planting it. And after five years, when the tree grew quite large, he weighed them again. He found out that the tree has gained a lot of weight, but to his amazement, he found that the soil almost weighed the same as before. So where did the mass gained by the tree came from? He deduced that it must be water from which the tree gained its mass, because that was the only thing he added on a regular basis. So what do you think about his deduction? Do you think that he was right? Is there any other factor which he missed to consider? We will know more about this in our next episode of History of Photosynthesis.